Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brick Workshop. Our TV can be mounted on a wall. We've not done it so far, we've just had it sitting on its stand. Uh, but in the new location, we thought, well, it might be nice to have it mounted on a wall. And you can buy, and they're quite expensive, they're sort of 45, 50 pounds, uh, a sort of gadget, uh, a hanging bracket thing that goes at the back of the TV to allow you to hang it on the wall. Well, I, I've looked at the back of our TV, and it has um, four uh, holes which would take an 8mm screw in each of them, and those are on a, a very simple pattern of 200mm centres. And I thought, well, it's not beyond the wit of man to make something myself uh, so it could be mounted on the wall rather than spending £45, £50 or more. So this is what I've done. I think most people know that I've got the X-Carve CNC. I've had it for quite a long time and I've made quite a few videos about it. And I use some software uh, created by a company called Vectric here in the UK and that software is called Aspire. So I can draw something on a computer and then get the machine, the CNC, uh, to carve it out. And this is the practice go, uh, what I thought I'd make. It's going to be about this size, that's about 250 millimetres square. And there are going to be four holes, one at each corner, which are 200 millimetres apart. And those will be for the 8 millimetre bolts that will be fixed to the TV. And then uh, there will be three little uh, slotted holes so that I can have three screws in a sort of triangle pattern, one, two, three, uh, screwed into the wall and then this plate which is then attached to the TV can be lifted on and dropped down onto those screws and it won't fall away because the screws are in the slots. Uh, that's the idea and this is my practice piece. Let me just show you how I went about doing it. Well I hope the screen is reasonably clear. Uh, in the Aspire program I've started by saying write my piece of material is 250 millimetres square. And actually my material I'm using is a piece of aluminium. Uh, it's aluminium plate, uh, it's three millimetres thick, and I bought it uh, via Amazon, and it was just over five pounds, so not a great expense. So that's my piece of aluminium plate. I've then positioned four holes, one at each corner, and those are 8.2 millimetres in diameter. And that allows uh, the 8 millimetre threaded bolts uh, to go through those and then into the back of the TV. I've created uh, three identical uh, little slotted holes, and these start off with a, a 12 millimetre diameter circle there, then a 5 millimetre diameter circle up here linking the two with a straight line and getting rid of the redundant parts of the two curves to make one entity, which is that shape. And I've then copied that three times to the other positions. I've then created tool paths, and uh, I know it's not terribly clear uh, from where you're looking, but the four holes are here, and then the three uh, elongated slotted holes are there. Now, the particular tool I'm using is a three millimetre end mill. I've set my cutting depth to 3.5 millimetres because I want to go all the way through the aluminium. I'm using a, a, a profile tool path and I've set the actual tool parameters really, really modest. The reason is I've never cut aluminium before and so for example my pass depth I've got it at 0.1 millimetre. In other words every time it's going to start making a cut, it's only going to go down by 0.1 of a millimetre. I've also said that my feed rate should be half a millimetre a second, so it's not going to go too fast. And then my plunge rate as it goes downwards to start the new uh, part of the hole is 0.1 millimetres a second, so it's plunging down very slowly. And I, I've set this up like this uh, because, as I said, I've never done aluminium cutting before uh, and I really do want this to work well. I don't want it to you know, struggle and, and make a bad job. Well, this is my final test. It's the CNC. It's the very last thing I've uh, unpacked and um, it's worked first time. 
so I'm really, really pleased with that because I wasn't sure whether it would have got a bit sort of shaken a bit in transit and that maybe that would have knocked it out of spec. But no, it's working really well. And I've just done the trial fitting of the plate and the four screws, one, two, three, four, at the back, which fix it onto the TV. In my case, these are at 200 millimeter centers. And then you can see the slotted holes here, uh, which will correspond uh, with some screws, which I'll fit on the wall behind me uh, where the TV's gonna go. Now with the screws and the washers uh, sitting in the back of the plate, I've now tightened these screws up fully so that doesn't move, but that's not how we want it because it'd be very difficult to get this on and off. So I'm gonna back these off now by about three quarters of a turn. And that now allows a little bit of wiggle room so that as the TV's offered up uh, with this plate attached that we can get these holes fixed and the whole thing in place. And all I have to do now is to lift the TV into position and I can look down on my plate, line up the holes, and then slide it down. And that's it. In position, ready to go. Well, that's it, the job's done. I'm just cleaning up all those little tiny bits of aluminium that seem to go uh, just about everywhere. I was really, really careful when I did the cutting. Uh, I made sure that I went round actually with uh, the nozzle of the extractor every now and again, whilst it was doing it, hoovering up those little tiny bits. I didn't want to put the dust shoe on uh, because I was just not certain how well it would pick up aluminium chippings. It probably would have been perfectly okay. Anyway, as I said, this is the first time that I've ever had a go at cutting aluminium. It's worked really, really well. Now the TV is up on the wall and I'm really pleased with the finished job. And this has been a really simple but very effective use of the CNC. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.